I was very happy to read this month that Air Canada has announced they are creating 1,100 new jobs. This, this is good news for our country because let's face it, everyone knows it. A job at Air Canada, that's a good job. In fact, some people would say, too good. After all, the Conservative government twice had to table back-to-work legislation to keep the employees over there in line. Apparently, they're a little bit greedy. But it worked. Once the union was put in their place, lo and behold, prosperity. 1,100 new jobs. And then, a buddy of mine who lives in Ottawa, who's looking for work, sent me the job listing. Now, turns out, they're not full-time jobs. They're permanent, part-time jobs. Minimum, 20 hours a week. Maximum, 32 hours a week, no more. And yes, you have to work sliding shifts on weekends and holidays. You have to be able to lift 70 pounds over and over again. And preferences given to bilingual candidates. But, hey, union job, 32 hours a week. Someone has hit the jackpot. And have they ever? The pay, $10.80 an hour. 10.80, a whopping 55 cents above minimum wage. Now, when I worked for minimum wage, I was a dishwasher at the Continental Cafe. The difference is, I operated a Maytag. These people, they will be operating the trucks that drag the $200 million airplanes around. And when I was a dishwasher, I got a piece of the tips. When was the last time anyone tipped a guy out on the tarmac in 32 Below? This is a fundamental shift in our country. Welcome to the new Discount Canada, where people who work hard for a living can't make a living at all.